everyone there is a fun dog thanks for watching been through the process of replacing some tapware lately uh, just through the ensuite bathroom I thought this was a pretty nifty magnetic lovely matte black finish easy to change tapware that's sort of surface mounted looks really nice but stuff that's in the wall it's always a different story I've got a mixer body there and that mixer body may not suit the new tapware that I've got what we're going to have to do is dismantle it all and see if parts can be changed over which is always interesting because manufacturers don't like to make things the same make it easy for us don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you're notified each time we upload a video all right so here we go guys this is the replacement or donor mixer body there's your cartridge all of these plates these brass bodies they're going to be pretty much the same same arrangement for the cartridge that is anyway so your cartridge seals there that's this mating face here that seals all of the water so in theory we can put that in the bin because we've already got one here in the wall and we should be able to drop that in there instead of the chrome one and our handle and everything will mount onto it It's already on there. I'm expecting a bit more water than that. So, keep that to one side, don't lose you. Gently, very gently prize you off. There we go. That's going to be fun. <laughs> Putting a square peg into a round hole. <laughs> okay. It's moving. All right. I don't want to damage that too much with the jaws on my wrench, just in case we've got to put it all back together and it becomes a non-event, which is going to be upsetting. But I don't think that's the case. I think we're going to be all right. So there's the body. It's come from the new donor tap. And there's the plate so in theory if they oh, if they wind together no I think this is home and hosed uh, we've got a little bit of a difference here all right let's see what that equals at the other end of the deal out here we're gonna have to make that square peg fit in that round hole right Okie dokie out of chokey. Let's work on this. So, a couple of sizes here. Just trying to gain clearance around the edge.
don't hit the pipes in the wall. I'll be sorry then. Too good for your teeth, is it? We're getting somewhere. Nope. I knew that was happening. <laughs> All the water's decided to drain down finally. We are in business. Are we plumb level true and straight? Darius, no, we are not. But we are now. So then, plate would go on. Hey! My cartridge will go in here. Come on. Oh, we're getting so close. Will it all come together for me though? There's our bonnet. Um, nearly there. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh! Handle. There you go. So I spout you for it. Oh yeah, doing well. No, that's an issue here. So what I've got here is a spud or a nipple cutter. I'm just gonna shave that down. Unfortunately, the catch can isn't gonna fit. The catch can stops us making a lot of mess. But that's just going to grind up against the wall and we're going to get blue paint all over a white wall. Not desirable, so we've set up a bit of a drop sheet down there to catch all of that. We only need to come back about three thread, three, say that three times fast, three threads, three threads, three threads. <laughs> When you turn them round, they've just got like chamfered teeth. And that'll help you start your thread again. Okay. Clean up. Much safer than trying to risk getting in here with a hacksaw and marking everything on the old mate thread tape.
And again, make sure we're level. A couple of quick tips here. Use a seal inside the wall around the body just in case any water tries to get back through into the wall. Okay. And this little grub screw. We're just going to put a little bit of tap grease on. That's more than a little bit, isn't it? Never too much. That way the next person that follows through is going to be able to get that out of there. Because that's stainless steel grub screw inside a brass body. I think it's brass, a bit hard to tell that. Could almost be aluminium. If it's aluminium, that's even worse because aluminium doesn't play well with anything. Just wants to oxidise and seize. There you go. You've just got the water back on. That looks fine. Doing really well. Yeah. It's hot. Yep, yeah, hot, hot, cold, cold. Much better than the chrome. We got really lucky there today, didn't we, guys? Um, worked out really well and really happy with it. The um, if problem with it is that manufacturers do make things slightly different, you know, and all I needed was either that old mixer tap not to want to come apart, or the new one to have slightly different threads, anything that would have changed the arrangement, you know, from being standard. That wouldn't have worked out very well at all. We would have had to put the old chromes back in, so do be careful if that's the adventure you, you're sort of planning to undertake. The, the only other option really if we can't get all of the covers and the handles to match is to get the jackhammer out and break all of the plumbing out of the wall and go again so yeah we did get very very lucky you guys all take care of yourselves hey thanks for watching see you next time hey where are you going